We're back now with an NBC News exclusive, rare access into the Los Alamos nuclear facility. It will forever be known as one of the birthplaces of the atomic bomb, but now it's also being used to develop a very different kind of weapon, one that puts Los Alamos on the cutting edge in the battle against cancer. NBC's Janet Shamlian has more in our special series of reports, Target Cancer, Chasing the Cure. Tucked away in the mountains of New Mexico, the Los Alamos National Laboratory. For decades, a top secret nuclear weapons lab. Today, it's at the forefront of groundbreaking research that could change the fight against cancer. NBC News obtained exclusive access to the highly secure compound. So this is the isotope production facility. Where physicist Eva Birnbaum showed us how they're manufacturing a radioactive treatment that targets tumors. But unlike standard radiation, doesn't kill the healthy tissue around them. This glass window is actually several different panes of leaded glass, about three feet thick, to offer us protection from the radioactivity inside this hot cell. These are the remote manipulator arms. The material so toxic, Scientists use these robotic <laughs> arms to work with them. So that piece would have to be lifted up and placed on top of the other piece, just like that. Very good. Here's how it works. A metallic disc is blasted with a high energy proton beam, making a cloud of radioactive particles. The particles are partnered with a protein to make actinium-225. Think of it as a laser guided missile injected into the body and traveling directly to cancer cells. In terms of breakthroughs we've had in cancer treatment over the past couple of decades, how big is this? I think this will be tremendous. Um, if we can really uh, get all these pieces to work together, this should be a very effective way to, to treat cancer in the future. Dr. Joseph Jersik tested the therapy on leukemia patients in clinical trials. Things are actually looking really good. Some went into remission. This is a more focused radiation. It's more precise, and it allows for efficient killing of the targeted cell alone. Doctors hope this massive equipment at Los Alamos will boost production and eventually help patients with many cancers. I think we'll see faster progress, and we'll see this going global. Nuclear technology once used for destruction, now focused on saving lives. Janet Shamley and NBC News. Los Alamos, New Mexico. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.